I'm here at the amazing new creative arts complex here at Harvard Bay High School with Matthew from Macabre. Matthew, last year I saw Legally Blonde at Seafront Oval. What are you rehearsing for now? So currently we're working on Shrek the Musical, mm -hmm. which will be our major production for 2021. Uh, and we're performing that in October. Mm -hmm. And um, can you tell us a bit about what's gone into this? How many people are performing? So we have a team of about 50 artists, between performers, visual artists, as, and costume designers and technicians mm. who are creating the show. Mm. And you received a RADIFA grant, I think, for puppets? That's right. So we received a grant for the puppet project, and that's to create Scarlet. Mm. She's our large-scale uh, eight-meter dragon. Yeah. Uh, she's been cast with latex scales and has these wonderful wing mechanisms that our team has been working on for the past seven weeks to make possible for our show. Okay. So I imagine you've all developed new skills for that? Absolutely. I've been fortunate enough to be working in uh, large-scale puppetry for the past 15 years with other festivals and groups, so being able to bring that and share that with my crew here in Harvey Bay has been awesome. Mm -hmm. So will we see Scarlett into the future after this production? Absolutely. I can't wait to see her at all the different events around town, whether that be the Whale Festival, uh, Mary Poppins Festival, but also in a featured show of her own next year is The Hope. Mm -hmm. And I think many people have seen Shrek. Is this pretty similar to the movie? It has all of the great lines and jokes that you remember. It has some of the songs like I'm a Believer, mm -hmm. uh, but we certainly see a lot more of the heart of the movie and the characters develop, and the music is some of the best you'll ever see from Broadway. Mm -hmm. And how many performances will we be doing a Shrek? We'll be doing three performances on the 1st, 2nd and 3rd of October, which is the last weekend of the yeah. school holidays. And how, how can people get tickets? So they can head to our Facebook page or our website website macabre.com.au. Mm -hmm. uh, they're all available online. Mm -hmm. And what's the future for Macabre? We're really excited about the projects for next year. I'm currently working with some amazing uh, artists about a full program for next year and we're hoping to present quite a number of shows for the community next year. Oh, that's fantastic. And can people get involved? Absolutely. There are going to be options for people to apply and audition for internships, uh, summer programs, as well as coming to see the shows as well. And I, I imagine you've seen quite a few young people come through the different productions. What do you think being involved in musicals and drama does for somebody in terms of their development? I think it's really important to have uh, arts education in and around our community, not just in schools, but mm -hmm. in communities like Macau. I've seen many of my students who have gone off and gotten degrees in performing arts and then come back and apply those as part of our productions. But I've also seen them take the skills and apply them to other fields, whether that be in medicine or in engineering, and it's really great to see their success in everything that they do. Yeah, well, thank you, Matthew, for what you're doing in making our community more vibrant and entertaining and bringing culture and laughter and music and all of your team here at Macabre. It's really a really important part of our community. Thank you.